Ring of Magic. I'd like to take that. And I'd like to take that too. But I'm not a thief. Oh god. Take it. Run! Oh. Hey, you! Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It seems that, you know, as soon as you kill all the Seekers, uh, as soon as that quest starts, they don't consider this their house anymore, these NPCs. Because the programmers actually intended, they, they wanted you to, you know, loot the chests. They thought everyone would do that. So, I'm really tempted to, to take the ring and and the rune, but I won't, I won't. This is still a let's roleplay, so let's just stick with that. Let's, let's pretend we talked to Sakob and he allowed us to take, to take the book. Oh, wherever it is. Whoa! Oh, god damn it. I'm possessed, again. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's... Go to the monastery. And I need a spiritual healing potion once again, only because I was curious. Whew, alright. I hope this works for, for Pyoka. I hope this is actually the book he was talking about. Alright, and I'm not possessed. That's good. I brought this book from Zardas. It's a token of his trust. Show me. But this is incredible. Do you have even the slightest notion what it is that you just gave me? Um, no. This is an ancient, long-lost tome from days gone by. We all thought that it was lost for good, and now I learn that Zardas knew all along what had become of it. So will you be there for the ritual? Yes. I shall depart for the Circle of the Sun, but certainly not because I am convinced of Zardas' good intentions. In fact, I am going to make this jackal explain where he has kept the book hidden for so many years. He has definitely gone too far this time. I shall see you at the Circle of the Sun. All right, we convinced Pyrocar. Well, not convinced him, but we, we made him. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can. Oh, I can, I can. Oh, this is... This is just great. Oh, look at this. This is how it's supposed to be. Oh, yes, I like this. I really very much like this. All right, let's get out of here. Whoa, I'm, I'm so far away from my hero. Come back. All right, this is better. Whew, all right, Pyrocar's on his way uh, to the Circle of the yeah, Sun. I guess he teleported once he was guy. outside, so let's just do you this. Don't have to ask me that. Uh, no, we can't teleport, right? Why haven't How do I, I get there before? to to the bloody stone circle? I, I have to run again, right? Right? Let's use the second speed potion for today. And in the meantime, I can... I can talk about... I can talk about Christmas! I don't really swim faster. Anyway, Christmas, yes. What did I get for Christmas? My Christmas presents were really, really awesome. I'm so happy. Um, <coughs> I'll just name uh, the first three, three or four, yeah. Uh, first of all, I got, and 
um, for all of these things I basically wished for, so I, I won't uh, say that every time. Um, the first thing I got was, uh, from my brother, uh, was a flag of the United Kingdom, and I, I wished for that because I moved house uh, at the beginning of of this year, basically, and um, I I got rid of all my old posters um, that I had until then. So my walls are very very blank, and I don't like that. And I thought of something that I could, you know, pin up to the walls that would look good. But all I could come up with are posters again. And uh, I don't know pictures, and I couldn't really find anything anything pretty. But ever since me and my brother went to London uh, late last year, I think it was, um, I'm actually a huge a huge fan of of uh, all those little London souvenirs and and um, uh, souvenirs of of uh, the United Kingdom. And I always wanted ever since then to have a flag of the United Kingdom that I could pin up to one of my walls and, and basically cover the, the nakedness of my wall uh, with that. And I got it now and I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, that's, that's present number one that I'm really proud of. Present number two was the newest book of my favorite author. Um, I think I'll I'll talk about my my favorite authors at some other point in in one of my later videos not just now because it would take up quite some time but yeah he wrote a new book that I didn't read so far and I got it and I'm so happy I'm already halfway through and I basically only stopped reading for this recording um, so that is great too again um, all right present number three it is um, I don't quite know the English term. I think it's like like headphones. You know, it's like a headset without a microphone, so that I could use uh, I could listen to music while being I don't know in the city and and uh, going shopping and doing business and so on. Um, because uh, so far in the history, whilst I was on the train or going somewhere, um, I was always. You know, just listening to my own thoughts, basically, and I had no music because I didn't have um, uh, headphones to, to listen music to, and I didn't want to, you know, bring a little radio or something so that everyone could listen. That's just annoying when you do that in public. So again, hooray, hooray for my great family. And number four, the last present, was uh, a, a computer game, a video game called Mountain Blade Warband uh, in English that I'm very much looking forward to playing actually. I installed it and I was a bit disappointed because I didn't know that you actually have to uh, use uh, a Steam account and to connect this game to the Steam account and you can't use it on any other Steam accounts and so on. That is really annoying actually. I'm a bit disappointed by that. But then again, it's a really cool game that I saw in several Let's Plays so far on uh, on YouTube. And that was present number four. And... Oh, there he is. I, I was going to say he's not here. And, um, yeah, that is awesome too. Because I'm, I'm really into this game right now. And I'm very much looking forward to playing it. I missed some herbs here. Me. Oh wait, we brought all those three magi uh, magicians together, and now they will hopefully. Oh, I forgot the eye. I ran here all the way, and I forgot the eye. That is so typical of me that I forgot about the most important thing. Now they are all standing here, staring at me, being like, "So." Can we go or what? Ah, oh, silly, silly me. Come on, let's jump against the stone. No, against the stone, you silly bugger. Ah, I can't even do that. Ah, oh, all right, what time is it? It's almost evening, and oh, that is so stupid. I'll teleport to the path, actually. That, that was part of my uh, original plan before I slightly changed it. Pass of Korean as it should be. Um, because Bennett won't be able to give us the eye until tomorrow, so we might as well finally 
search for Garn. I never forgot about him in at least two of my earlier videos. But apparently he changed his position or he has been killed. I'm not quite sure. Can't find him. But there was also another thing that I wanted to do while being up here on the high pasture. And that is I wanted to talk to Bangar, I think his name is. Really didn't deserve that. There are quite a lot of mercenaries. Oh, wolves here. Hello, wolf. Everything going well? Sure. Everything's quiet. Alright. My frames are dropping while looking at that swampy area, so let's just face this direction. Oh, yeah, I remember. Bad news, Bangar, bad news. Malak is dead. And everything will just get even worse. I found you the mercenary you wanted. I've never seen anyone like that on my farm. I can only hope it'll work out. Here, take this. I think you'll find it useful. Yeah, I, I will. It'll be all right. Wolf is a really strange guy, but I think it'll work out somehow. All right, great. Now, where is gone? He vanished. He just vanished. I thought he would be here somewhere. Actually, let's, let's check the barn once more. Just to see whether he's there. But I can't really remember him going somewhere else than his his usual spot. No, he's not here. Gone! Gone! Where are you, mate? I killed the snorting beast. Well, alright, search you did, but I helped him. That's quite obvious. This is frustrating. Where could he have gone? Actually, let me take out... Oh, yes! Close. I almost went into that guy. But then again, it there he is. Oh, he noticed me. No? No, where's my... Where's my... Sword? Would you mind getting your sword out? I mean, I'm pressing one. But he is. just doesn't fight. someone else. Ah, oh, there we go. He noticed me too. Let's see. Aren't there snappers around? We shall get you! Right, I was just checking the area. I don't want the fight to be dragged into the snapper area. Oh! Gone! Gone! He's standing over there, very close to the position where where the old snorting beast would have been. Gone, dude. That horrible animal is dead, I assume. Then I can finally hunt freely again. Here's the money I promised you. Yeah, thanks, dude. I'll take that fire metal. Whew, alright, alright. Let's get out of here because this area is still very dangerous with all those... Dragon snappers. Let's try to make a run for Yeah, for the the stairs. They should be here somewhere. But I think I already killed all all the seekers that are standing around here. Where is it? Oh here here it should be. Yep, here we go. Whew! Very good. Oh wait! We can tick that off the to-do to -do list. So, let's return to Bannett. He won't be ready just yet, but... But, yeah, we we can go to sleep in, in the barn, basically. And tomorrow we will... Yeah, we will get the eye, run to the bloody stone circle once more. But it will be the last time, I hope. 
because after that everyone will, will go back and we will take the eye with us and yeah we won't have to go there again. It is it is really a bit annoying that it is so far outside, so far away from any teleportation points. But yeah, what what can you do? What can we do? Alright, I think we can put this away. And go to sleep. Alright, yes, yes. Okay. Um I can already start my my uh, goodbye part, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little set of videos. I know it has been quite a short day, but then again, I have only seven minutes left until I have to leave the house. So this has been uh, quite quite intense. All right, um, we basically are very close to. Uh, to fixing the eye and we we made all the magicians come uh, to the stone circle today which which is a good thing and also we tricked that little bug that would have otherwise destroyed my whole LP so that is good it has been a successful day in my opinion I hope you guys noticed um, the word of the day this time because it has been a bit more tricky uh, today because I didn't really you know, prepare any topics that I could talk about and I had very much uh, trouble with improvising so it should be slightly easier for you to notice please just write it in the comments what you think is the new word of the day and I will inform you if it's correct and um, yeah, uh, until next time uh, I hope you have a great day and Please, please send me more messages with words that you think are my LP are lacking. So, whatever you would like to hear in my LP, as long as the word is applying to the channel rules of my channel, please send them to me in a personal message. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great week. And, um, yeah, I hope you're alright, I guess. Nighty night.